Designing for axial load in road construction involves several steps to ensure the pavement can support the anticipated traffic loads over its intended lifespan. Here is a simplified outline of the process. 1. Traffic Analysis Traffic Volume Determine the average daily traffic and the percentage of heavy vehicles. Load Spectrum Analyze the types and weights of vehicles expected to use the road. Equivalent Single Axle Load Convert different axle loads into a standard unit, usually an 18,000-pound single axle load, to simplify design. 2. Subgrade Evaluation – Soil Testing Conduct tests to determine the strength and properties of the subgrade soil, for example, the California Bearing Ratio or Resilient Modulus. Subgrade Preparation Design measures to improve subgrade strength if necessary, such as stabilization or compaction. 3. Material Selection Base and Subbase Materials Select appropriate materials with suitable properties for strength and durability. Surface Materials Choose materials for the surface layer like asphalt or concrete that can withstand traffic loads and environmental conditions. So, let's talk about structural design. When it comes to layer thickness, we use design methods to determine the appropriate thickness for each pavement layer, including the subbase, base, and surface. One common method is the Ashto design method. This method uses empirical equations based on traffic loads, subgrade strength, and material properties. Another approach is the mechanistic empirical design. This combines mechanistic modeling of pavement responses with empirical data to predict performance. And of course, stress and strain analysis is crucial. We need to ensure that the designed pavement structure can handle the stresses and strains from axial loads without excessive deformation or cracking. 5. Drainage Design Surface drainage involves designing proper slopes and drainage systems to prevent water accumulation on the pavement. Subsurface drainage requires incorporating drainage layers or systems to remove water from beneath the pavement structure. 6. Performance Criteria Service life is about designing the pavement to meet the desired service life, considering factors such as load repetitions, environmental conditions, and maintenance schedules. Safety and comfort ensure that the pavement design provides a safe and comfortable driving experience with appropriate skid resistance, smoothness, and structural integrity. 7. Quality control and assurance construction specifications involve developing detailed construction specifications to ensure the pavement is built to the design standards. Inspection and testing means implementing quality control measures during construction to verify material properties, layer thicknesses, and compaction levels. By following these steps, you can design a pavement structure that effectively manages axial loads, ensuring durability and performance throughout its intended lifespan.